Well hello friends again, long time no see, it's Fionn here from Newfoundland Girl um, and also Northern Lass if you follow me on Instagram and I thought I would do a quick book haul um, I love my books and I've been given quite a few this month through different things and people's been um, you know buying me books so I thought I'd share with you some of the books that I've been getting in the last say two three weeks so there's 14 books in total that I've gotten um, some of them are um, history books well actually some of them are history books some of them are language books some of them are um, historical romance and about animals as well so let's get straight into it the first one is um, British Myths and Legends by the Folio Society it's this beautiful uh, it's three books if I turn it around that way in the set Marvels and Magic Heroes and Saints and his History and Romance as I say I haven't read these so I don't know what they'll be like but these were produced in 1998 um, and it's a three volume set they're absolutely beautiful I'm sorry about the lighting um, it's really late at night and it's just well I don't know if you can hear the rain but I thought I'd quickly show you these they're absolutely beautiful um, and this is volume one and I just really, really like the look of them. Um, they've got some lovely pictures in. And it's edited and produced by Richard Barber and illustrations by John Vorham Lord. That's the front of the title. And it's just absolutely beautiful. Um, and as you can see, it's mainly, the three volumes mainly deal with the origins, the early history of Britain, um, like Siv, the Wild Hunt, the life of Merlin, Beowulf, uh, Arthur, St George, ha <laughs> ha, which I was born on his birthday, um, the life of King Harold, Richard the Lion, Hart, Robin Hood, Macbeth, and they're absolutely beautiful. Now, I've been looking where you can actually buy these, um, the foyersociety.com. You can buy them, but not the same kind. Amazon, uh, most of the books you can actually find on Amazon, but these ones you can find on um, the Fool Your Society. So that's the first one. I'll put them back into my my bag that I've got. And as I say, all these are gifts. So, but they're just it's just beautiful. It's just really stunning. So I'll put that one back. If you can hear something rattling, that's my book bag. Sticking with the Folio Society is the Book of Historical Mysteries. Again, it's in this beautiful cover, protected. Um, and as you can see, the label's there. It's just absolutely beautiful, if I can actually open it. Again, this one you can get from the Folio Society. This is 2008. I'll just open it up. Again, beautiful detail on the front cover. And as you open it up, uh, it's again, this is edited and introduced and selected by Ian Pinder. That's the title page. But it's just absolutely beautiful. I'll probably do reviews on all these books once I actually get through them. Um, and it asks certain questions about um, historical mysteries, uh, who built Stonehenge, where's Atlantis, uh, Tutankhamun murdered, how, why did Rome fall, Robin Hood, the Pied Piper of Hamilton, who wrote Shakespeare's plays, what happened on Easter Island, and the list goes ever on, um, Jack the Ripper, who shot J.R. Kennedy and it's just again beautifully illustrated 
these are images from uh, Tutankhamun. As you can see there, it's just absolutely beautiful. Again, Amazon or the um, Folio Society, they'll stock them. And it's just really, it just makes you want to pick it up and read it, basically. And the next one, again, is uh, the Folio Society. Now, this one I had a little bit more trouble finding anything about it. Um, and I would greatly appreciate if anybody could help me out on this one. It's Arthur Cowan Doyle, The Lost World. Now, when I typed it in, a lot of things came up about it, but I couldn't find a book like this. Again, it's from the... F F F F I can't even pronounce it. Folio Society, but they don't have it actually on their website. I tried looking at Amazon, I couldn't find it. But it is absolutely beautiful. It is just really nice. Um, and I don't know what is actually in it because I haven't read it. I don't even know anything... <laughs> Anything about Sir Arthur Doyle, um, which is not very good, is it? But maybe you guys can help me um, and tell me a bit more about him. Um, I've, I've found a few things, but it'd be interesting to see. Um, again, the Foil Society do absolutely beautiful um, introduction pages and contents pages. Just absolutely beautiful, but I couldn't find anything about it, so I, I it was a gift, so I don't know where it'll be. So, if any of you guys know, please tell me. So put that back into there, but it's just in a beautiful box. You just want to pick it up and squeeze it. Okay, moving on. David Crystal is somebody that I know. Um, if any of you will be aware, I did a couple of years with the Open University. I studied English language and classical civilizations history for a better term. And one of the most frequent names was David Crystal. So when I got this book, I was like, oh my word, it's David Crystal. And it's David Crystal's little book of language. Fantastic. I can't wait to read this. Um, again, 2010 you can get it on Amazon quite cheap and um, if anybody knows David Linguist David Linguist <laughs> uh, David Crystal is a linguistic um, so that's how I came across them through um, doing about the English language uh, the history of the English language and his name kept coming across um, and it's basically about dialect, um, how language evolves, comparing languages, uh, bilingual languages, and it just it just looks really. It, it actually, when I first looked at this, it took me back to my open university course, um, which is a good thing, because <laughs> uh, I really I really enjoyed studying the English language. So this would be a really good read. Again, Amazon or probably even Waterstones or somewhere like that will sell it. Um, and it's just brilliant. I can't wait to get into it. So that's another one. The next one, sticking with history in terms of language or history, is When It Happened by George Chambers. Um, again, I, I searched for it. Amazon was the only place I could find it, unless anybody else knows where it could be. And it's a very short history of Britain in dates including the most important kings and queens, the major battles and other great events to help anyone who cannot remember or ever learned. Um, according to this, it's priced at 9 pounds That's in pounds. I don't know what it would be in dollars. I, I, I can't work out what it would be. And it's just very simple from, I think it starts, let's have a look, 55 BC when Julia... Caesar invaded Britain right up until um, 1994 when the World Wide Web was founded. Ha, how appropriate. Um, so yes, 
uh, Amazon. And this one was 2006. So I look forward to reading that. That's another one in the pile. Um, the next set of books, if you want to, uh, I don't know much about this author, or but I just like the pictures on the front. Yeah, I don't know. It's Edmund Edward Marsden's um, Drummers of War, Under Siege, and Fire and Sword. And it's basically about Flanders 1707. That's where it's based. I I haven't. Um, it's about his journeys into France, um, and that's all I've actually read about them. Again, these are 7 99 but you can find them on Amazon probably if you're cheaper or on Kindle. But they're just absolutely beautiful. This is the first one, Fire and Sword. Um, there's no illustrations that I can see. It looks relatively easy to read. I like books with big writing. Not you know, tiny, really, like you have to squint, but you know. So yeah, that's the first one. Oh, I don't know which way the series goes. I think it's... Soldier and Fortune is the first one, and I don't think I've got that one, but never mind. And Drummers of War is the next one. And finally, Under Siege. So they're all part of a series. Again, these were given, more, all of these were given to me by a friend. So she was kind of clearing out. <laughs> and me being a book person, I kind of cleared it into mine. So if anybody's read these, feel free to let me know and what you thought of them. I will probably do a book review at some point when I actually get around to actually getting through all the books that I've got previous to this because if you follow me on Instagram you will know that I'm actually reading uh, the Immortal Instruments series by, um, can't think of her name, I'll put it in here when I think of her name, Claire, Cassandra Claire is her name, thank you very much, just remembered that, and I'm on to book two out of, I think there's five books, so bear with me. Um, so that's book six, seven and eight. Book nine is The Good Samaritan. Uh, Bits Bites the Dust. The Amazing The Amazing Why The Amazing Way the Bible influences our everyday language. Don't know. But again Amazon. Um, this is 2011. It's by Ferdy Adides. Um, again, it looks really nice. That's the front introduction uh, page. And it's just basically, have you ever referenced to a family member as your flesh and blood? Or do you encourage friends to eat, drink and be merry? Well, willingly or not, you have been quoting from the Bible. The Good Samaritan Bites the Dust, Ferdy Arides explores the origins of countless expressions, all found in the good book, taking in their usage in popular culture as well as language developments. Whether it's fighting for good, the good fight, going from strength to strength, or giving up the ghost, you simply won't believe or have a little faith in the number of biblical phrases we use every day. So, if anybody, as I say again, if anybody's read this, please let me know. Uh, so that's book number nine. Book number ten is the Animal the Sea for Gallantry or Devotion. The PDSA Bricking Medals inspire stories of bravery and courage by David Long and forwarded by Paul Grayley. This was 2012 and it looks really nice. Um, it's all about um, animals serving on the front line. Uh, dogs, horses, it could be anything really. Um, about their bravery and how they get the medals and it looks really nice it's got um, photographs in of different medals that they've won so yes I would be interested to see some of them from the army so yes um, it's non-fiction and has it got a price in here? $14.99 was its uh, retail sale price, but as I say again, you could get them on Amazon for a lot cheaper. So that's another book that's on my 
uh, reading list. Uh, the next two books is part of a series again by Joe Summers, and it's My Life with George and the Bold The Boldness of King George. Absolutely beautiful books. Um, My Life with George is about a cocker spaniel that comes into a family. I haven't read it, I've just read the back of it. Um, and the next one as well. So these two again. Six ninety nine in the UK, um, and according to this in Canada, it's fifteen dollars. So apparently, uh, and it's the Sunday Times bestseller. Both of these, they haven't most of these haven't been well read because the I always tell if a book's been well read by the spine if it's been you know dented back a hell of a lot, but this one hasn't, so it looks really good. And I'll be interested to see. Um, I actually found this one on Amazon. And that one on Amazon. So. And finally, the last book in my book haul for February. Yay, i get it up before the end of the month. Is Oggy, the dog only a family could love. By Laura Lelvin. And doesn't he look so sweet? Um, Oggy's story confirms what Dewey taught me years ago that even a wonderful army tossed aside is capable of amazing joy if he's given love and respect by the humans who chose to share with him life with him. Oh, isn't that so cute? Again, Amazon, uh, £12.99 in the UK. And it just looks really nice. There's, there's Oggy there. It's not look cute. So yes, um, as I say, most of these books um, are historical and non-fiction. So yeah, I'll be interested to see what you think of the books and if you've got any books that you would like me to read. Feel free to um, drop me a comment in the description. Uh, uh, down below. So yes, that's my February book haul. Oh, and it's not even the 20th of February. Oh, it is the 25th of February, sorry. It's, 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 it's actually 21st of February, but never mind. Or oh, 20th of February. I, 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 I don't know. I just know that Six Nations is starting tonight, so I'm quite happy. Hey! If anybody follows me on Instagram, they'll, they'll know what uh, I'm meaning by that. So yes, um, this is one of many book hauls that I'll be doing. Uh, I'm starting to build my confidence a bit up with um, doing YouTube videos and I'm just looking at the time on this video and it's going to be 20 minutes long but never mind. Hey ho, that's what you get if you love books, is you ramble on forever about books. Um, so yes, you can follow me if you don't already know. I've got a blog, the From and Girl at blogspot.co.uk. Instagram, Northern Lass and I'm on Twitter as well so if you want to follow me all the links will be in the description bar below. And yes, um, hopefully this will get edited and uploaded tonight. Depends on the connection. And I shall, and also just to let you know that my weekly review is live now of what I've been doing from last week to this week. So yeah, uh, videos that are coming up, I'm hoping to film on Sunday, quite a few videos. Um, journaling videos is coming up and some DVD reviews so stay tuned and thanks for watching bye bye